Hey, yo, chat, it's Dan VR. Real quick, before going into the video, I ask that y'all like and sub, join the Discord. I will be daily uploading until the end of the year. Only reason why I didn't yesterday is because my computer decided to commit ritual suicide and my pump broke. And I was recording a video. I got a CPU overheating alert. I'm like, huh, that's weird. I pop open HW. My CPU is at 110 degrees. So yeah, that was the fucking day I had. But we all know it's no secret, especially the last like three weeks, Deepwoken has been miserably laggy, like borderline unplayable, especially in the overworld. But I've got y'all with the God Seeker method, the software to never lag. So following the link in the description, it's going to take you to the uh, Blockstrap GitHub page. So it's very clear on the page even that you do not want to click any of this. And there is nowhere you can get the Blockstrap software but GitHub. So if you're not using the link and you're trying to find this yourself, do not download that shit. That is Chinese spyware. Okay? So just follow the video to the T. So from the page here, you're going to scroll down a bit to download the latest release of Blockstrap. So you'll click that. It'll open up the actual GitHub page for Blockstrap. And when you scroll down a little more, what you're going to click on here to download is Blockstrap V28 EXE. I'm so I just lagged IRL. My fault. So you'll download it. I already have it downloaded, so it's just going to open super quick. And you'll get this little version here. Uh, the Blockstrap menu, essentially. What you're going to do is hit Configure Settings. And that will pull up pretty much all of the Blockstrap settings that you have. The first thing that we're going to look at is actual integrations. So this is uh, eh, kind of just setting it up the way that you would prefer with some of the settings because this will now replace your Roblox launcher. But the two main things we're really going to look at here are engine settings and fla uh, fast flags. So in engine settings, you can completely change like the graphics and rendering of any Roblox game. The two most convenient ones, I'd say, are the texture quality. I recommend running it at a 1 if you don't have the best computer. That way the game still looks nice, but if you go to level zero, it looks like plastic. It's like a fucking Molly Pocket, like, toy. It's awful. Level one, you'll probably, man, you'll probably get, like, 60 more FPS, and your ping will go down a little bit, and it still looks pretty good. Uh, disable player shadows and post-process effects plus terrain textures is a really good one as well. For terrain textures, think of, like, Monkey's Paw or Floor 2 player shadows and uh, post-processing. That's like all the particles and the colors and shit. So those are the really like simple ways just in the engine settings here that you're able to improve the quality of your game. But the real dream is the fast flags editor. So this whole string of code is gonna be in the description. What you do is you hit add new, import JSON. You'll copy paste it in here. Then you'll hit okay, hit yes, and then yes again. What all of this does essentially is it's going to dramatically increase your ping as well as your FPS. When I have this running, even in like a, a full server, like 10 versus 10 ganking and monkey's paw, a bunch, bunch of mange builds and particles, I'm getting like 280 FPS and like 70 ping. It is incredible how much better the game actually feels. It's, it doesn't even feel like Roblox. And when you're in Chime and already using low graphics on Roblox, all of that coupled together, it is so incredibly smooth. It, it legit changes everything. Because as we know, the game's been ass lately. But follow this guide. Only use the links and the programs that I put in the description to make sure that you don't mess anything up. Even if you do, just delete the software and start over. You're going to be all right. 